Hi, Gemini. It's your Midnight Maven coming to you from the heavens above, your spiritual media correspondent. Mm -hmm. And let's see here. I did a pre-shuffle for you, and we got Turtle, and then I did a Celtic Cross for you. And uh, your song is One Headlight by the Wallflowers. And I'm going to tell you why. First off, you have the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Wands at the center of the uh, spread. Um, basically, your victory seems like it's just taken way too long. Um, that it's it's not you're just <laughs> uh, it's, it's taking way too long for you to get the fruits of your labor so the victory is almost s seeming like it's not going to matter or it's not going to be as sweet um, at the bottom of the deck we have the seven of cups in the reverse so that's a good thing because too many options is the devil's playground and that could be good sometimes but you don't want that and then at in your higher self you have the five of wands in reverse so that's the end of um, chaos theory <clears throat> I know Gemini likes a little chaos but uh, this was even a tall order for you um, in the recent past we have the judgment card so you called judgment, you blew your horn, and uh, now it's all coming down. I think everybody's blowing their horns, but uh, in the near future, you have the Ten of Swords. Um, so, you know, I hate to say this, but it's like, no good deed goes unpunished, whatever, da da da. It's, it's just, you're going to have to take the, the thorny with the rosy I, I you're gonna have to take the good with the bad because it's it's coming in and this karma is very intricate and it's there's a lot of layers to it but it's all for the best and it's gonna be a change so at least you won't be bored um, how you see yourself is the page of sorts so you are very aware of all the goings on and uh, you know you have yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um. Sure. Um. You have your ear to the streets. You know what is going on. You're in the know, pretty much. How people see you is the eight of cups in the reverse. So you're choosing to stay behind for a lover. And your hopes and fears is the Eight of Swords. So you see how she's bound, but she could easily untie herself. But she's created a prison for herself on uh, Alcatraz right there, you know. And your final card is the Two of Cups. And this is why you're doing it. Because you have one headlight and you're traveling down that long desert road because you believe it's worth it. And that's beautiful. On the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords. That's your card, Gemini. You could also be dealing with another fellow air sign, which could be Aquarius or Libra. Um, I see Aries, Sagittarius, and possibly Pisces as well. Um, let's get some verifiers. not a water sign you got the queen of cups in the reverse or actually i'm not even thinking it's a water sign it's your feelings and emotions are completely um, even though it is a, a lover you're thinking about this completely logically and completely um aesthetics you know what i mean you're not yeah. you know letting all of that uh, determine what you're gonna do um in the animal spirit oracle deck, you got the turtle, the turtle, hard-headed bastard, and you're a little slow. Kidding.
<laughs> da, da, da. Uh, it says ancient soul grounded trusting at home in the self so at least you know who you is and that's that's a start it is wonderful to be in the presence of a turtle personality like the beaver it eats snatch <laughs> just kidding now, the turtle has a strong relationship with the earth and water elements kind of like an amphibious little amphibian uh, elements simultaneously very earthy very watery so very feelings very having to have and to feel um, this helps to ground and connect them to the deeper truths of life no matter where their travels lead them turtle energy turtle I like turtles <laughs> uh, turtle energy is behind all great writers and storytellers as they collect life experiences kind of like a comedian so I don't know if you're um, careers you know uh, uh, an author a comedian an actor somebody in show business uh, Gemini which probably sounds like you somebody that's communicating or relaying messages or storytelling um, as they collect as they collect life experiences what uh, under the shells for later use the most potent turtle energy helps us close all the other books and begin to tell our own true tale so instead of it's kind of like going on YouTube and waiting for everybody to tell you what your fortune is it's starting your own channel it's starting your own voice not to be narcissistic but to solidify and plant and cement your word and your stance individually and unhindered or un um, tarnished by, by, by other people's opinions. It's completely your own, Gemini. Um, when in balance, you're peaceful, adventurous, and productive. When out of balance, you slow down to a halt. To bring it to balance, an adventure. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Go streaking with green jello, naked through the streets. Go hang out in abandoned. Uh, houses along San Pedro Highway, not San Pedro, uh, going, going to San Padre. You know those like abandoned houses where you go to the uh, highway? That's kind of fun. But yeah, you're taking all emotions out of it. You're cerebral, totally cerebral, which is where you live mostly. Let's... So let's get you some angels and ancestors. <laughs> yeah. Romantic feelings. Yeah, right. So your feelings are real and worth exploring. Mm. No, they're not. I'm kidding. I love you. <laughs> you know that's croc. <laughs> but it's whatever you really feel. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. It doesn't have to be so corny. It doesn't have to be so icky, gushy, gushy, you know, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So it could be your version of romance and higher level of commitment and true love and all that shit. You know, you can go to City Hall and get married or you can have the Princess Lady Die wedding or Part rainbows or whatever, I don't know whatever you want to and I know you uh, already I, know that like a, like a appreciator it's like this guy who just proposed a ceremony at our apartment on West Valley and my name was a Buddha yeah he was a black Buddha he actually was uh, the one witness and then he was the witness too it's kind of cool nice very cheap and simple how much for the ceremony? Sixty bucks per for the uh, ordain the ordain minister cool. to officiate over your shoulder, over your shoulder, Gemini. I'm gonna leave you with this: those recurring patterns in your life, throw them overboard. Whoever said those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it was full of shit. You only repeat patterns when you continue to stare at them. You get 
hypnotized and then act them out. Take one last look back. And all that crap. And be on your track. Oh, get some tracks <laughs> in your head. No, uh, <laughs> if you must, take one last look back, if you must, and then say sayonara for good. But this is to the old you. It's not, you know, we don't have to make it about a person or, or a family member, even though it could be that, it could be generational, whatever, what have you. But this is a new way of thinking. So cut it off because it takes 17 seconds to solidify something in your head. So the minute your head starts to go places that you don't want to go, cut that bitch off by at least 15 seconds and then you good go. You go, boo, you go. Just think about Carebo, Carebos, <laughs> Care Bears and Rainbows <laughs> and uh, fried chicken, big dicks and, and the ocean. And you go. I'm so sorry. I'm unhinged right now. Mm -hmm. I love that smoke. But I love you, Gemini. Like, share, subscribe. Don't be a hater.